Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Currency Insider. I hope you are doing well. God give you more happiness and more success in your life. Please check back the latest update about Iraqi dinar and share it with your friends and family and like the video for supporting me. The Vietnamese economy is showing strong momentum, projected to grow by 6.2% this year. This positive trend is fueled by a recovery in export demand and substantial foreign direct investment, FDI, according to the ASEAN Plus 3 Macroeconomic Research Office, AMRO. However, household spending remains weak, and micro small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, continue to struggle. Recently, Typhoon Yagi has caused significant damage in the northern provinces. In light of these developments, AMRO has recommended recalibrating macroeconomic policies to support domestic economic activity in vulnerable sectors. Following its annual consultation in Vietnam from October 6 to 12, AMRO emphasized the need for policy adjustments to maintain macroeconomic and financial stability across the ASEAN Plus 3 region, which includes the 10 ASEAN members plus China, Hong Kong, Japan, and South Korea. Looking ahead, Vietnam's economy is expected to grow by 6.6% in 2025, but the uneven recovery necessitates policy changes for a more inclusive recovery while ensuring financial stability. AMRO's lead economist, Suyo Isikawa, noted that despite temporary disruptions from Typhoon Yagi, Vietnam's near-term economic outlook remains positive, driven by resilient export demand. Inflationary pressures are currently contained due to weak domestic demand, declining global oil prices, tighter liquidity, and the appreciation of the Vietnamese dong. However, Vietnam is facing a balance of payments deficit this year, primarily due to unrecorded transactions, such as overseas purchases of virtual assets which have led to a decline in international reserves, recorded at 83.3 billion in July. Risks to Vietnam's growth outlook are skewed to the downside, with potential weaker consumer demand in the US, a slowdown in Europe, or slower growth in China potentially affecting export recovery. Additionally, upcoming changes in US trade policy after the next presidential election could introduce further uncertainty. Lon.